No more barriers. No more mass PCR testing. No more big whites sitting in front of our apartment buildings. For many Shanghai residents, today is the first time in over two months when they can venture outside their apartment compounds. No strings attached. So after more than 60 days, uh, Shanghai has officially ended its lockdown uh, today on 1st of June. Uh, there's no wake up at, no celebrations. It ends uh, just like that. And as if nothing has ever happened. You thought <laughs> What awaits Shanghai residents is a city that's not quite the same. For starters, digital sentry, mandatory QR code scanners that record your movements. Whether it's a taxi, office buildings, or shopping center, no one can go anywhere without scanning one of these codes. Many places in Shanghai also require negative results from a PCR test taken within the last 72 hours. But since it often takes more than 8 hours for the results to be ready, I have to take a test every two days. There are now thousands of PCR test sites like this all over Shanghai. This is the new normal in the city. Shopping malls and roadside shops are among the more than 2.5 million businesses allowed to resume operation. This is my first cup of uh, coffee that I ordered from a human being in more than 60 days. So. As the lockdown ends, some migrant workers have decided to return to their home provinces. After 19 rounds of PCR tests, countless rapid antigen tests, I'm now finally free. But China remains adamant about maintaining its zero COVID strategy. So the question that haunts many of us in Shanghai is, when will the next lockdown come? <laughs>